Hey all you lovers of Clear Lake, Ross England, Jim Dowdy behind me, we're Clear Lake Guide Service. Didn't know, you know, I told you I didn't know whether we were going to get another fishing report in this week or not. Well, we're going to. We decided to come out this morning. Jim got off work this morning. And as you can see right now, it has turned into a gorgeous day here on Clear Lake. One thing about this lake, wintertime, when the weather's good, you might as well take advantage of it. That's exactly what we did. We came out here. We started about, uh, and we probably actually started fishing about 9.30. And between 9.30 and 11.30, how many? Mid-50s. Mid 53 fish we counted. Now, I'm going to tell you. You're not going to win a tournament with what we did today. But it was fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Our biggest fish, we probably had a couple that were three and a half pounds. I, maybe we had 15 pounds for our best five. There was a lot of small fish. But anytime you can go anywhere in the wintertime and catch that many fish without using live bait, that's a pretty good bite. And to be honest with you, we haven't caught them everywhere. The last hour and a half, we've just been looking for other spots, and we did not find any. But the fish that we caught, we caught in how many how many little schools? There was at least three or four schools of them. Yeah, they were just all grouped up. You know, we found typical winter fishing. Exactly. Typical winter bite. You know, the water temperature is perfect for it. Typical winter patterns. Which, by the way. The water temperature currently is 50.9. When we launched, it was 49.6. Water clarity, still really good. We've probably been able to see five feet. Yeah, five, six feet for sure. Yeah, in the areas that we've been fishing. And we haven't gotten all over the lake, obviously. We haven't been out that long, and we're not going to be. But um, those are your... That's, kind of a little bit of the conditions and whatnot's going on. I promise that if, if we got a shot, we'd come back out here and give you a little bit more information. Today's a day that we actually thought we knew what we were doing. We thought we could come out here and catch fish, and that's... We had a plan, and it actually paid off at once. <laughs> <laughs> I still think, you know, if, if you're, um, you know, if you want to get a good, better fish, you know, go, you're going to have to go deep this time of year. Um, but there's definitely fish in the mid-range. Yeah, Jim's caught a couple of nice fish the last week, week and a half, and they've all been deeper. And they haven't been caught like this. I mean, they've been caught fishing, uh, fishing a plastic worm, stuff that we do best. But I'll tell you, when you can come up here, and we caught them all on rip baits. There's no secret. We came out trying to develop that bite a little bit further than what we did uh, earlier last week. So anyway, there's nothing going on this weekend except for Christmas this week. There's no tournament activity. Um, looks like the weather's going to be really good. It looks like there's going to be some really nice days. Probably not a bad idea to come up here and give it a shot. I won't be around. Jim will. You can give uh, give me a phone, phone call. Who knows, you might even be able to get out with him if you're having... Uh, having problems getting on fish or having a hard time with it. So we're going to keep this short but sweet. Merry Christmas to all you guys from Ross, Debbie, Gracie, Ace. Merry Christmas. Enjoy all your uh, new fishing gifts. Hopefully you got a bunch of new toys to play with, and, you know, this might be a good place to use them. So Clear Lake Guys Service out. Have a good one.